Folks, when you think of fall, what do you think of? Hot drinks with a little hooch? Me too. The best part of waking up is not giving up. Fudge. Boom. Irish coffee. It's one part coffee, one part Bailey's. How big are the parts? Well, that all just depends on how much you got to do today. I'm also going to show you how to make a hot toddy, hot buttered rum, and how to vote. Now, if that part sounds boring, don't worry. I brought something to make it more interesting. Meet Buck. Say hi, Buck. What did I tell you about doing that on camera? We recently rescued Buck, who was found on the road in Texas. As you can see, his mother was a terrier, and his father was an armadillo. Now, I know what you're thinking. Did I get this puppy because I love rescuing animals, or because I'd like to shamelessly increase my viewership? And the answer is... Yes. We're going to start off with some voting stuff. Buck says voting is important because the more you vote, the more democracy works. And the more democracy works, the less Baileys you pour in your coffee on a Tuesday morning. What are you trying to say? Buck, go ahead and tell the people what they do to vote in this year's election. As Charlie said, I'm from Texas, so excuse the accent. But first step is go to vote.gov and choose your state. Now, I'm going to choose Wisconsin because, well, obviously you can see my sweatshirt, but also because I'm pulling brandy out of my tackle box right now. So what's the brandy? Brandy for, Brandy's for a hot toddy. I thought you used whiskey in the hot toddy. Don't worry, we'll put that in there too. Now here's what you'll need, a little whiskey, some brandy, get that honey going in there. Apple cider, got this from Patterson Orchards in New Berlin, Wisconsin. And honest to Pete, if you're not getting your cider out of a milk jug, I am questioning your life decisions. Then you're gonna pull out your buck knife, cut yourself a little lemon, then you stir all this together, okay? Get that honey mixed in there, good. And then pour in some hot water, about yay high, and then for a garnish, boom, cinnamon stick. Give that a taste. Mmm, delectable. Now some folks think hot toddies have healing properties. And by some people, I mean your bartender who got his BA and BS. Now while you're enjoying your hot toddy, Buck's gonna tell you more about voting. Buck, you can't yawn. I told them that it's not boring. So if you're like Charlie and you live in Wisconsin, vote.gov takes you to myvote.wi.gov. Just click on register to vote and follow the steps. You have until October 14th to register online. After that, you gotta register at the polls. Now I'll tell you all the ways to vote in a sec, but first my owner needs to make another drink and I need to get Get more treats out of my spaceship. Oh, there's one. Thanks, Buck. Now we're gonna make hot buttered rum. So hot buttered rum is a hot toddy plus butter plus sugar plus rum minus whiskey. Now, if you forget to subtract the whiskey, don't worry, you're still gonna pass the exam. Start with a glass and put some brown sugar in. Half a buck knife of sugar, put it in there. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pour a little water in there, just as a medium. And by a medium, I don't mean someone who tells you what grandpa's drinking right now in heaven. From here, you can kind of get creative with it, but don't forget the most important thing, and that's Jamaican rum. How much Jamaican rum? Whatever fingers your favorite, stop there, okay? This one, maybe a little nutmeg. I like to do a little cayenne pepper just to add an extra kick, but you may wake up at 3 a.m. all hot and bothered. Fair warning there. I do like to throw a little extra honey in there just to help the throat. And since we're in Wisconsin, why not toss some brandy in there as well? As my grandpa always said, there's nothing in the world brandy can't fix. Uh, except your problems. Now here comes the most important ingredient in hot buttered rum. That is, of course, the butter. How much butter do you use? Uh, no idea. Give it a cut, toss her in there, and this is how I learned to do it. Is this the right way? Probably not. Take a little bit more hot water and just melt that butter, okay? Grab your buck knife and just stir it till that butter is good and melted. Now at this point, you may hear a little voice inside saying, I can't believe you just put butter in a drink, and that would be your heart. Feel free to ignore. Hot buttered rum coming right up. As the final step, you're gonna add a little cinnamon stick. I like to use a cinnamon stick as a straw. You're gonna die 10 years earlier. Shut up, Hart, no one asked you. Okay, and while you sip on your hot buttered rum, it's time to decide how do you wanna vote this year? Are you gonna vote in person? Are you gonna vote absentee? Are you gonna vote early? To answer all these questions, we go now to Buck Barons. <laughs> Come on, I got treats. Does someone say treats? So there are many ways to vote, none of them are wrong. You can vote in person, you can vote early, or you can vote absentee. Every state's different, but to vote absentee in Wisconsin, go to myvote.wi.gov and click on vote absentee. Search by name and it'll tell you if you need to request a ballot or if it's already been sent out. Then you can return the ballot to the city clerk's office during business hours, drop it off in boxes outside the city hall, or mail it back. When in doubt, just call the clerk. Now, if you excuse me, I gotta lick my owner for a sec. Ballots must be received by 8 p.m 
come on November 3rd. Oh, excuse my yawns, I'm bored as hell, but you shouldn't be, democracy depends on it. You can also vote early in Wisconsin from October 20th to November 1st. Oh my lord, they put peanut butter in my con, gotta go. Thanks Buck, and I will add, if you do wait to register to vote, you can register at the polls, but beware, that line is gonna be longer than the pisser at Lambeau Field. Well, I hope this was the best fall cocktail tutorial of your life. As always, go Packers and f*** the Bears. So roll out the barrel and get the band brewing. Life's got you down, just keep her moving.